Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Before we talk about the Pinaka rocket test, let me quickly update you on the MRSAM test. Back on 27th March, we have reported the test of two MRSAM missiles for Indian Army. Now as per the latest reports, two more tests of MRSAM has been conducted successfully today for the Army version of MRSAM and with this the test marks the completion of user trial and MRSAM is all set to be inducted into Indian Army. Both the missiles successfully intercepted its target at different altitudes and ranges meeting all mission parameters with high accuracy demonstrating quick reaction capabilities. Now talking about Pinaka rocket test, yesterday the general manager of Ordnance Factory Ambajari, a unit of Yantra India Limited, has tweeted and informed about the test of Pinaka rockets. The enhanced version of Pinaka has been tested at Pokhran range on 29th of March. During the test, 24 rockets were fired from Pinaka and all of them successfully met the evaluation criteria. The Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launching system MBRLS, designed and developed by ARD in association with other DRDO labs is an all-weather indirect fire artillery rocket system. The system is capable of firing free flights as well as guided Pinaka rockets. The free flight rockets are of two types, the Pinaka MK1 which can engage targets up to 37.5 km and Pinaka MK2 which can engage targets up to a range of 60 km. The guided Pinaka rockets can engage target located deep into enemy territory up to a range of 75 km with high precision. The Pinaka rocket which is in service with Indian Army is a MK1 version. ARD has also developed the enhanced version of Pinaka 1 called Pinaka 1 Enhanced with a range of 45 km. The recent test of Pinaka rockets was for this version. All these versions of Pinaka which we have discussed is a 214 mm rocket. There is one more version of rocket which is a 122 mm rocket with extended range of 40 km. Each Pinaka battery consists of 6 launchers, each with 12 rockets. The parts developed for Pinaka MK1, MK2 and MK1 Enhanced carry 6 rockets whereas parts for guided Pinaka carries 4 rockets. Each launcher has 2 parts. All these rockets can be fired from same Pinaka launcher. The launcher also has an onboard automatic gun alignment and positioning system to provide the land navigation and orientation capability. In salvo mode, each battery can fire 72 free flight rockets in 44 seconds which can neutralize an area of 1000 meter by 800 meter and in terms of payload it is 7.2 tons of warhead. Apart from launchers, a Pinaka battery has 6 loader cum replacement vehicles, 3 replacement vehicles, 2 battery command post, 1 standby with a fire control computer and 1 Digi Cora MET radar which is used for obtaining the MET data using a balloon based radio sound. The MET data captured is utilized for trajectory computation by the battery command post. All the system of Pinaka are mounted on Tatra 8x8 truck matching mobility and logistics. The two regiments of Pinaka have been inducted into army and have become fully operational in 2010 followed by two more regiments. DAC has approved additional six regiments in 2016. Army has decided to induct a total of 22 regiments and 1.8 lakh rockets of Pinaka. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.